everyone, welcome to another video from Cheshire Reese Libraries. My name is Kath. Today we're going to make some Silly Squad salt goat animals. So if you've been doing the summer reading challenge this year, some of these characters might be familiar to you. We have my version of Izzy the Octopus. We've got Cher the Sheep, Brian the Pony, Glen, Gwen and Not a Hen. The three ducks. Got bamboos all the panda at the front there. And this is my version of Mary the Giraffe in Salt Boat. Now don't worry if you haven't signed up for the Summer Reading Challenge yet. You can, there's still time at summerreadingchallenge.org.uk. So to make your silly squad salt boat animals, I've got in here 250 grams of plain flour. And then half that for 125 grams of salt and 125 millilitres of water. To decorate your animals once they've been baked in the oven, I've got some black and some white paint because I'm going to make um, a sheep. I've got some glue and some googly eyes. I've also got some paint brushes to paint the sheep afterwards and a marker pen. If you'd rather use food colouring, you can do that. Um, I haven't got any food colouring so I'm using acrylic paint, but you can use watercolour paint, poster paint, any paint that you have if you want to paint them afterwards. Okay, so to make the salt dough, we first take our 250 grams of flour and we mix in 125 grams of salt. So give it a bit of a stir, that's our salt and flour mixed together. Now I'm going to add in 125 millilitres of water. It can get a little bit messy, so I've just put this uh, black plastic on my table just to protect it. So I'm going to put all that in and then give it a stir around, stir it all up and it should form a dough. So it's starting to stick together now, it's a little bit crumbly and if it is too crumbly you can just add more water. If it's too sticky and gooey you can add more flour. Okay. There we go. That's our salt dough that we're going to start to shape into the form of an animal, whichever animal you choose. The sillier the better. Okay, just keep kneading that for a minute. Okay, there we go, dough done. So with that amount of dough, you could get quite a few animals out of that, two or three at least. I put it onto a floured surface so that it doesn't stick. And now I'm going to start forming a sheep. So when we looked at Mary the giraffe, I've taken um, just basic simple shapes. So his head was a circle, pinched triangles for the ears, body was a, another circle with an elongated end, four little oblongs for legs. So let's start to think about how we could simplify share the sheep. So similar to Mary's head, I'm going to start off with a round ball that I flatten. The thinner your salt dough when it goes into the oven, the quicker it will be to bake. So I'm going to do another flat shape this time. Just keep moulding it into a round shape. Next, I'm going to take my finger and make indents around the sheep's body so that it looks like a cloud. So next I'm going to make four little legs, just by having smaller pieces of dough that I've rolled into a sort of leg shape like that. I'm just going to pop that under the back. There's one leg. There's another leg, just popping it under the back again. Three legs. Four 
and then four legs. Don't worry if it doesn't stick, it should stick during the, the baking process, but you can just press it down to help it. Okay, so now I'm going to make a smaller circle like we did for the body. This time it will be the head of the sheep. Smaller, smaller circle, but I'm going to do the same thing again and use my finger just to indent it and make it look like a smaller cloud. There's our head on top of our body. We can do some little triangle ears again if you want to. So I'm pinching there one end, keeping the other end quite flat. It's going to go behind that bit there. So again, pinching one end, keeping the other end flat. Oops. And the flat piece just sits behind the head. And what I'm also going to do at this point is just mark with a finger where the eyes are going to go. I'm probably going to use googly eyes again, but you don't have to. You can paint them on. So there we go. We've got the sheep's head and the smile of the sheep will go in there as well. So sheep's face and head, sheep's body, sheep's legs. Okay, really simple. Once you're happy with your sheep, pop him on some greased baking parchment. And then the sheep can go into the oven on 150 degrees for two to three hours. You're looking for the colour to be quite pale when it comes out, but hard. So it should all have dried out. Okay. Off we go to the oven. So after baking in the oven, you should have something that looks like this. And I'm just going to paint this now using black and white paint. I'm just going to start with a black head and black legs. I'll do a white body and then I'll stick some googly eyes on afterwards. Two of my legs fell off in the cooking process. When I pulled it out of the oven, I only had two legs instead of four and I actually preferred it with two, so I left them off. If that does happen to you, pieces fall off your design, you can just glue them straight back on and leave it to dry before you paint. You can do yours any colours you like. As I said, the sillier the better. So I could have done a purple sheep, couldn't I really, or a pink sheep. And if you didn't want to use paint, you wanted to use food colouring, you could have added the food colouring in the mixing process right at the start. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry now, stick some googly eyes on and draw a smile on our sheep. There we go, our Silly Squad Salt Dough Animals. Have a go making some of these yourself at home. And keep an eye out for more videos from Cheshire East Libraries. Bye!